Hey guys, all. welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs uh, for the end of your April going into May. So we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with a possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Um, apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's get started. Um, over energies for Sagittarius regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. What is surrounding Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What can Sagittarius expect regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the end of April going into May? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. Look at the Four of Cups. Right. Four of Cups and the Three of Swords. Oops. What happened here? I, I feel like we have someone here that's not happy. Someone here that's really heartbroken about something here. I feel like someone here might be thinking about someone. Perhaps looking back at someone here or looking back at something. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Wow, we have the Five of Wands. We have the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Whoever you're dealing with here, you could be dealing with someone here that's younger than you. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Could be someone that's older than you, same age as you, but this person's behaving like a little immature child. Whoever this is, this person throws like temper tantrums. Uh, it could be a situation where, you know, where if this, if things don't go this person's way, they, it, it sets them off, whoever this is, okay? Um, could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or another Sag. We have the Three of Wands here and the Lovers here. We have someone here that's looking for love, okay? Someone here is waiting for their love or waiting for their soulmate to come in. So I feel like, you know, this is a situation or, or this is the person that you could have left behind here and you could be looking for something new, okay? Could be dealing with a Gemini here. You might have Gemini in your chart too, Sag. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Okay, we got the Six of Cups. Okay, someone here is looking, at the, looking back at the past here. Someone here is yearning for a past person. Someone here is missing a, a past person here. Okay, uh, we have the King of Pentacles. So someone here, someone is missing someone here that was very reliable, very loyal, very committed. Okay, so I feel like we have someone here that definitely messed something up. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with that King of Pentacles. So this person could be a earth sign or they, they could have those energies in their chart. Uh, five of Wands. Wow, we have the Empress here, Libra, Taurus, Energy, Page of Wands here, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So there are two people here? So someone here is yearning for two people or was dealing with two people here or juggling two people? We have the Empress and the Queen of Cups. Seems like there was conflict amongst all these individuals here. So I'm feel. so who is this Page of Wands though? Is it this Queen of Cups? We have an Empress here, Libra Taurus Energy. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all that Queen of Cups. Tell me all that the real Wands. Five of Pentacles, and then we have the Lovers here, and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Ow, oh, that hurt. Whoever this is, this, this person's a player, or was a player, or that this person's regretting their behavior, regretting their actions here, because we have someone here that's definitely missing someone or yearning for someone here. Definitely past energy. I'm not getting new energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. So this Empress can't, and this Queen could be the same person here, okay? 
So I feel like this person came off as someone, this king came off as someone here who, who could have been, you know, came off as very reliable, very, you know, uh, uh, committed or, 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 you know, or, or um, you know, loyal. But I feel like that, w that wasn't it. I feel like that was the opposite of that. Okay. So I feel like we have someone here that's missing someone because someone here was very generous, was very giving, was very nurturing, was very caring. Okay. And I feel like someone here misses that. Whoever this is, I feel like it could, it could have been the situation where it could have been, you know, you know, sort of like a lag, like, um, you know, the, the vibration that you guys were at were not the same because I feel like one was still behaving like a little child and the other one was an adult. So I feel like it was like a parent-child dynamic, all right? Tell me about the person that uh, Sagittarius is dealing with here. What is this person's uh, current true feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius for the end of April going into May? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius here regarding their person? Okay. The strength card and the ace of cups, wow. Well, the moon and the seven of pentacles. We have the two of wands and the seven of cups. We have someone here that's in love with you, basically, Sagittarius. And I feel like it's this king that's in love with this empress slash queen. So um, that king is this page and this knight here, okay? Someone here still has very, very, very strong feelings for someone. And I feel like there is a separation here. And I feel like you guys might have been separated for a long time. Maybe close to three years. Because I'm seeing a lot of threes here. Okay? Close to three years, you guys. Uh, we have the moon, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay? Um, and then we have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I feel like whoever this is, someone here is completely stuck on you. This person is fantasizing about you, okay? This person's missing you. So, you know, Sagittarius, you could have moved on from this person. You could be looking for new love yourself, all right? So I feel like you just maybe, perhaps you don't want to really want to waste your time with this person because maybe this person has a lot of secrets that they've never shared with you or that this person lies, okay? Or, you know, the, or this person has a lot of fears, Fears that this person has never really dealt with or refuses to deal with it or heal. Um, tell me about the strength card. Why is the strength card here? We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, Ace of Cups here, and the Page of Swords. We have someone here that really wants to communicate this to you, okay? So I feel like we have someone here that's trying to manifest you back, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and I feel like with the Page of Swords here, there's definitely maybe some spying going on here, okay? Through social media, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, tell me about the moon. We have the Hermit here, Virgo Energy, Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Whoever this is, this is an individual that is extremely emotionally immature. And I feel, feel like this person is basically, is emotionally stunted, okay? Because I feel like the way that this, this person be, uh, like um, treats things or handles things, uh, this person handles things like uh, as they would uh, at, at like... Um, during, you know, lunch break in the schoolyard or something like that, okay? Uh, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. We have the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This per Whoever this person is, I feel like this person knows why or what exactly is going on here because I feel like there's some sort of awareness here. And I feel like we have someone here basically that's sitting by themselves, basically self-reflecting and introspecting here and really facing their fears. Whoever this is, tell me about this uh, two of wands. We have judgment, Sagittarius energy, seven of pentacles here, and the world. Whoever this is, I feel like we have someone here that's really trying to close out the cycle of behaving this way, okay? This person could have put you in a third-party situation. You're definitely receiving some sort of communication from this individual here. So judgment, Sagittarius, energy, Scorpio, energy, and the world. You know, that could also be an indication with this individual that you're dealing with, their true feelings and intentions. You know, I feel like with the world card, this person could have unfinished business here with you. This person might be looking for some sort of proper closure or something like that, okay? This person is definitely going through like a major, major, major awakening because I feel like this person knows that they can't run around behaving like this anymore, okay? Um, 
Let's see what else we have here. Outcome and advice here for um, Sagittarius regarding their situation for the end of April going into May. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sag. Okay, Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ten of Wands, the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy, Four of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Okay, Knight of Cups and a Six of Swords. Someone here is definitely coming back towards you, Sag. Okay. Uh, Ten of Wands and the uh, Temperance card. We, I feel like we have someone here that's healing from their trauma, healing from their pain here. Uh, childhood trauma too. We have the Four of Swords and the Two of Cups. Whoever this is, this is like a past life soulmate. This is a past life soulmate here. This is an individual here. I feel like this person meditates on you a lot or meditates about this relationship, trying to manifest this relationship back. Okay, or that this individual dreams about this relationship or thinks about this relationship a lot. Someone here definitely wants to come back, I feel. Tell me, tell me about the Knight of Cups. We have a Queen of Pentacles, Kings of Queen of Pentacles, divine counterparts here. Okay, so I mean, this is interesting. So either the, these em this Empress and this Queen of Cups could be somebody else. Okay, um, but I'm feeling more so the. These feminine energies are the same people. I mean, keep in mind, third party doesn't really have to be romantic. It could be a situation that this person, you know, just has bad behavior. It could be drugs. It could be work. You know, it could be the dog. It could be a plethora of stuff. It could be anything. Uh, six of Cups. That's not the Six of Cups, I'm sorry. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. Someone here definitely wants to come back. The problem is I feel like this feminine energy just is walking away or continu is continuing to walk away and not going to look and basically they're not going to look back. Tell me about the Ten of Wands here. We have the Ten of Cups. Someone here definitely wants the end all be all here with you. Temperance. We have the Six of Wands. I mean, someone here definitely knows it definitely knows where victory lies. So this person could have gone off and explored other options. And, you know, this person maybe came to a realization that these other options weren't you or that they couldn't replace you, okay? Um, four of swords and the ace of swords. So uh, four plus one is five. I feel like this person's in their head about, about, about you a lot. And I feel like this person also maybe gaslights themselves into... Uh, maybe telling themselves that, oh, you know, maybe it's not, I'm not worth it or that, you know, Sagittarius doesn't want me back or something like that. Um, two of Cups. Wow, we have the Seven of Swords. You know, I, I feel like this person has maybe never really told you how they truly felt about you. I feel like this person has covered it up and lied about it. We have a Two of Swords here, okay? So I feel like you might have a choice here or maybe this person is having trouble deciding whether to come towards you or not. This person's not doing well, by the way. Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, lack of sleep, depression here, fear, okay? So yeah, it seems like this person wants to come back. They're in love. Um, maybe they made a, made a mistake here. They made a bad choice. They made a wrong decision here. So um, Sagittarius, hope this was helpful. Um, hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.